asshole here. Welcome to Asshole Tubecast. You know what, guys? You better you better stop it with that pack of ginger and kick a ginger. You know what? I was picked on in high school, but I know why. Because you know what? Because I was different, and that's why. My next guest, you know what? Hey, if you don't know his channel right, I'll let him in the door right now. How you doing, buddy? You know what? This is Action Ginger in the ass. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing all right, Tess. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. You know what? I had to speak to all those all those college kids who were like, "Yeah, you're you're not from around here." I'm like, "Yeah, you know what? I'm from you know the, the place where I'm from. You know, Wayne Gretzky was from. So you know what? Um, I don't know how to kick ass, but you know what? I will shove a puck so far up your ass that you know what? <laughs> we're born to kick ass on the ice." Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> So I was gonna say, so, uh, so what's your, uh, what's your content like uh, on your? So right now I'm pretty much playing uh, Ring of Elysium. Over the past month, I transitioned over to PC. I previously played uh, on Xbox for the past seven years. I didn't stream as much. Uh, the past year or so, I was streaming Madden 18, Madden 19, but I wasn't really streaming seriously back then. But now I'm streaming seriously on PC. Mainly playing Ring of Elysium. I played a little bit of uh, last year, The Nightmare. I'm still uh, finding, you know, which game Wait, I'm going to try and take over and conquer. <laughs> I was going to say, what platform are you on? Like, do you upload to YouTube or Twitch or what platform? No. No, I mainly stream on Twitch. I stream pretty much generally the same time. Uh, around 9, I start between 9 and 10 p.m. Eastern. I stream till about between 2 and 4 in the morning, depending on the night. Ah, you're a night owl, I'll tell you that. But I'll say, yeah. Uh, yeah, so um, the thing is, okay, now... Um, I was gonna say, because obviously you're a PC gamer, because I, I play it all, and one thing is when it comes to platform gaming, it's all the same. Some things are, some things has their, their, uh, they all say computer, they have their strengths and have their weaknesses. But I'll say, uh, if, like, what is your, this is gonna be a friggin', friggin' hard ass question for any gamer, trust me. I'll say, uh, what is your all time favorite game? If you could spear on this shit! What game oh. would you be? What game would you know off the top of your head that you'd be able to play? Off the top of my head, of all time, in the ten plus years I played video games, it would have to go. Oh, gosh, Black Ops One is definitely up top. I'm thinking for like a second or third behind it. Oh my god! I was gosh. so mad. I was so mad when they uh, when they came out with uh, Sorry Guys, you guys that loved. Like you know, what was that? What was that uh, pack that came out for their PlayStation or computer? It was like, uh, uh, it was where all the zombie maps came into one. I forget what it was. Oh, called. Okay. What it, I forgot what the expansion was, but it had all the different zombie levels that had the five in it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, to KO, you know, Dempsey, and also, uh, and also uh, Nikolai and stuff. Well, mm -hmm. I was pissed off when they actually released that, and they didn't have Call of the Damned. But I can understand why they didn't do it because they didn't have some copyrights. You know what? <laughs> and then you had to, they had all that shit because they had Sarah Jessica Parker, they had fucking. Um, um, She's they, gotta ruin everything. They had, <laughs> they had her, they had Robert Englund who played Freddy Krueger. They had, mm -hmm. um, they had, oh, they had all these different actors that did voice actors, Danny Trejo, I think. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I think last thing I saw on Trejo was probably. I don't know. I heard. I heard. I heard. And I heard a good. I heard a really good rumor. Like, guys, this is just a rumor, so don't take my word for it. But I heard that Danny Trejo will be playing something of Lobo. That would be messed up. <laughs> that would be cool. But I don't know, Danny. Are you gonna take this on? Because you know what? I don't know if it's. You know, it could be just you know rumors. But what? I, it'd still be interesting because I'm a big DC guy. So um, I'll oh, okay. say uh, so uh, I, I, so how long you been how how long have you been streaming on Twitch? So for if you want to combine all the time put together, it's probably probably close to about a year and a half, two years. Right. I would I'd say total, but seriously streaming like with this schedule and actual professional setup, I'd oh, yeah. say it's been about. Uh, two months now streaming on console playing Madden and stuff like that I mean it was just pretty much my screen and whatever I got on after school but now I'm like I work between 1 p.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. <laughs> I hear that and then right after right when I get home I'm on here doing this and then any days that I have a day off I'm pulling a 
six to 12 hour stream. So wow. that, that's just my schedule, give, how I do it. I give you guys credit because I swear to God, you streamers out there, I, you guys stream for hours on end. I could not do that. And I'm like, I think that my physicality, I'd be like, oh my God, I am so drained after like the first. Oh but, yeah? Yeah, definitely. So uh, I was just going to say, Madden, who's your favorite team? Oh, well, I'm being from Michigan. I, I got to love, love the Lions. You know, they're one of the worst teams in come history on, of football. I got to go. Up. I got to go. Up. I'm a, come on. I used to be a cowboy guy and I went out dolphin, you know. Mm -hmm. I traded my cowboy hat for flippers, so yeah, it's okay. But, mm -hmm. um, no, I mean, I'm a Lions fan by trade, but I used to, when Brett Favre played, even though he played for the Packers and the Vikings, our rivals, I, he was, in my opinion, he's the greatest of all time. Okay. It's an unpopular opinion, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> please, please, don't send me hate mail. Come on, there's going to be, like, some, like... Oh. Some yeah, Brett Favre's the greatest of all time. Changed my mind. Some guy, some guy, there's gonna be people out there who are like big football people, they're gonna like throw mm -hmm. their hats down and burn it and then be like, tear me up in the comments. But yes, mm -hmm. I was gonna say, okay, so um, in your experience with streaming, mm -hmm. have you had any like uh, technical issues hardware wise? Like, what are some of the difficulties you had and how'd you fix it? Um, so. <laughs> Figuring out like the actual setup and stuff, I was lucky to encounter some really great people from yeah. a stream team called PPG, and there's some really cool dudes. I'd shout out all of their channels if I could, but that'd take about five minutes. But uh, Dark Hue Cravings, uh, PPG Buzz 49, there's some really good dudes that helped me get this setup going. Because uh, when I first got on here, keep in mind I've only been on PC for a month now, so yeah. this was all this hit me like a wall getting this all set up and all that between knowing what my computer was capable of what i had to add to it in order to get it to perform how i want to and then just figuring out you know obs in general uh knock on wood i haven't really ran into some crazy technical issues uh i built this myself it's my first build i do have a oh. small issue i'm working with to where uh my, i just joke around and say my computer has mood swings but every once in a while my audio will cut out and I usually just have to restart my computer once or twice and then it's back up and going. Uh, that's the only thing I run into. Uh, I'm gonna be having one of my friends that I went to high school with who's built, built these weekly, or I shouldn't say weekly, but monthly. Yeah. He's gonna go ahead and fix her up for me. So luckily through uh, strong built connections with other streamers and uh, you know friends in real life, I can get past these technical issues. Yeah. yeah. But it's just like when it comes out of streaming, like the one thing is always engage in your audience, but always listen to your audience because they could tell, they could be your biggest tool because they could tell you if you don't have audio or if they, oh, yeah. your video is screwed up, DVR or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because technical issues, like we don't know everything when we start, but you know what? We learn from other people. That's what. Oh, yeah. You have to be able to take uh, constructive criticism because there's a oh. lot of people that, you know what, they'll they'll think it's a you know stupid little mistake, but you know they know, but they're they're like the ooh I'm the Jedi, you're the Padawan. It's like yes, teach me, mm -hmm. master, come on. And you mm -hmm. know, yeah, but uh, so I was gonna say this is gonna be a hard ass question. Okay, this is a hard mm -hmm. question that I have that I haven't asked yet this year, mm -hmm. but if you. I'd say like four years from now, if your if your channel got bigger, I'm saying mm -hmm. if you had like a organization like um uh what is it um uh ah right, Make a Wish make, the Make a Wish Foundation contact you and say that there's somebody that's willing in some country game with you at a certain time because that was their last dying wish. How would you react? I mean, I would say it's an honor and a privilege knowing that I had a positive impact on their life, maybe whatever hardship they're facing to where they would want to spend possibly their final moments just playing with a guy like me. You know, I don't think I'm anything special, but I'm hoping one day that, uh, you know, my, as, as my channel grows, I can get to that point to where, you know, I'm playing a positive impact on people's lives. That's one of the really special things about Twitch and why I really want to get into it and grow bigger, you know? You know, there's money, there's fame, but the biggest thing to me is seeing 
what this community really does for some people that are facing tough times. May it be, you know, mental health or, you know, shit that just happens in their life. I'm sorry for cursing, but it's okay. you know, it's stuff, okay. It's okay. Stuff, stuff that happens in their lives, you know, it's, it plays a much bigger role than people think. And just the connections you can build with people in here is amazing. So if I get to that point, you know, I'd be an honor and a privilege and I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't ask twice, you know? So honestly, I'm gonna ask this in one of my fun, like near my close to my final question. I'm gonna say, like, uh, do you have any uh, advice for my audience out out there? Yeah, um, it's gonna be tough if the, you want to get into something like this. You know, it's gonna be tough. It's not gonna be easy. You know, you gotta put time. You may have to put money into it. I'm not even where. I want to be, but I'm ahead of where I thought I would be. You know, it's a grind. You gotta, you gotta put time, money, all that stuff into it. Um, never give up. I mean, I have my good days, I have my bad days, but it's a fight. You know, it's it's a never-ending boxing match. Yeah. You don't throw in the towel. You don't give up. You throw the last punch and just take it one day at a time. You make small goals. You make small gains. You may get lucky. You make big gains for a day or two, but uh, it, it's a process. And I haven't gotten to the end or where I eventually want to be at, but I'm taking it one day at a time. And I think as long as I stick to my plan and stick to what I'm doing, I think in the long run, there's going to be a day where I can finally say, you know, I made it. I did this, you know, it's like, also like when it comes down to like failure and people, you know, you don't. <laughs> oh, everyone's going to fail I'll, at one point. Everyone's going to fail at some point, but I'm saying like, that's why, like, that's why I believe that at some point, all right, it doesn't matter if physical strength or anything like that. It's being able to take a hit or like say and something right wrong. back up. And get, yeah, right back up. You took the words right out of my mouth because you know what? Life is gonna life is gonna screw you over, and the fact mm-hmm. is, you gotta pick yourself up. But you know what? You don't really fail until you give up because the only one that really can say that they give up is you. people that will tell you that. Oh yeah, you put that aside. You gave up. Whatever. You know what? There's always going to be people that tell you stuff. Don't mm-hmm. don't base it on what people tell you because tell you the, people will tell you anything. They're say you suck or you know. There's yeah. always going to be people that are bringing you down, or they're mm-hmm. gonna they're gonna like they're gonna be testing you. Mm-hmm. But it's always don't let them like don't let them get to you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I mean, I can't say I don't have, I have my supporters, of course, which I'm grateful for endlessly, but I have, I I have my doubters and uh, the way I, the way I view it, the way I think all people should view it, you know, embrace your doubters, let them be your motivation. So the day that you do hit your goal and you get to where you want to be, you can look back at them and say, look at me now, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, actually, Ginger, for being on the show. Oh, no problem, man. Pleasure. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today. But you know, guys, please check Actually Ginger out down in the description below. And, guys, please leave me a like because I like bacon. You like bacon. We all like bacon. You guys step the hell off because you know what? I love bacon and it makes me me. I'm Canadian. I love my bacon. And trust me, my girlfriend knows I love my bacon. If I don't get it in the morning, I'm not pretty. And trust me, she don't, fi- don't even ask her. And ladies and gentlemen, don't leave a comment because she don't, don't even ask her because you know what? She's going to be like, hey, you're not even pretty to begin with. But yeah, she's probably right. But yes, guys, please leave a comment below because you know what? I like to know stuff. Yeah, I know stuff. I, I know stuff, but I know some stuff, not 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 a lot of stuff, but you know what? I, I want to learn some more. So, so I'll see you guys next time, guys. Bye, guys. You can contact me at Tassel on Twitter and at Tassel hashtag four six one one on Discord. Or you should stop by my Instagram at Tassel. Yeah, keep it classy, guys.